Hello guys, today we're going to have a look at some of these N20 gear motors. I have four different types here. Uh, this is to replace the motor, or well, to find a, a better motor for use on excavators because we checked out this uh, motor on the Libra before and it's a 30 rpm motor. And we just found that it's a bit too slow. So, well, actually, it's a lot too slow. So, I have four different motors here. Uh, um, this one is a, has a gear ratio of 1 to 200 so the speed of the motor is reduced 200 times so it should be an RPM around about 25 according to the eBay sellers page but I have a feeling it's faster than the motor that we already have on just by by looking at it so that's the first one there that might be the same as the one that we already have we just have to put it in and see. The next one then is a 1 to 150 gear ratio and it should be around about 50 rpm. The next one then is going to be 1 to 100 should be around about 75 rpm and the final one is 1 to 50 it should be around about 150 rpm and all of these motors cost around about 4 euros 80 so they are quite an expensive part of a build and you're gonna need probably about six or seven of them to make your RC excavator depending on what you use you know you have uh, quite a few in the boom and then you need a slewing mechanism so there's a couple of different things you're gonna need your uh, N20 gear motors for so let's uh, set up we'll start with the slowest one first we'll set it up in the uh, on this uh, Lieber model here and we'll see how fast we can screw in and out the bucket with the different motors okay so let's start off with the the original um, the original motor that we had that's pretty slow so as you can see there that is screwing up the bucket there but it is very very slow so would be a long time waiting on that would not be ideal, it's not very realistic. So let's try the next motor. Okay, so here's the first of our uh, new motors. So this one is supposedly 25 rpm, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be faster. Yeah, that's clearly a lot faster than the first motor we were using, but still, it's just too slow for this application. We need a considerably faster motor for it to make any sense. So on to the next motor. Okay so the last motor had a gear ratio of 1 to 200. This is the 1 to 150 gearbox so let's see how this works out. Again we've clearly an improvement but uh, still pretty slow for, uh, for an excavator. We should be getting uh, quite a bit faster speed. So on to the next motor. Okay, so now we're on to the 1 to 100 gearbox. Should be a little bit faster again. That is uh, quite a bit faster. It's not too bad, but uh, we could do it being just a, a little bit faster would be ideal we'll say. So let's go up to the final gear motor, hopefully it'll work out okay for us. That's a 1 to 150 gear ratio. Okay so here's the 1 to 50 gear ratio, hopefully this will be a little bit faster, should work better for us. I would say that's a reasonable that's a reasonable uh, speed for the motor. Let me switch the wire over here and we'll Check it out in the other direction. No. I'd say that's that's fine. That's a that's a good speed, I think. Um, we should probably try and check out how much power we're gonna have. Uh, pushing power that is. So. 
I'll find an obstacle for us to push and we'll see if this screw mechanism can push it along. Okay, so I grabbed a grain trailer here. This is something maybe you'd maybe you'd try to push, although I don't know why you wouldn't just use your tractor to move it. But anyway, we'll use this as our obstacle. Let's see how we get on. So that had no problem uh, pushing the trailer. My hand was slipping here with the oil, so maybe I'll get something to give us a little bit more grip here on the boom, and we do that again. Okay, so set up for a second run. I have a little bit of wire holding the motor in place a bit, so this should be a little bit better than the first attempt. So there you go, with absolutely no problem pushing the trailer around. I wonder could we make it lift the trailer. Okay, so I've the bucket under the end of the trailer here, so we'll give it a bit of power and see how easily the excavator lifts the trailer. Okay, so it seemed to be able to lift it okay. Um, we clearly don't have as much power as we would have uh, with the with the other models, but we can up the voltage of this motor. Now we can up it to five volts, six volts if we want, and uh, that will obviously give us a little bit more power. So these motors are good to twelve volts, so we've quite a range to go. I'm only using three point seven at the minute, so we can up the voltage quite a bit if we want. We could up it to seven point four volts. Then we have a very a very strong. Uh, excavator so maybe I'll get a 7.4 volt battery and we'll see what happens then okay so now I have the 7.4 volt battery let's see how fast it can lift the trailer so obviously 7.4 volt battery seems to work very well there the Hitachi used the 7.4 volt battery but obviously the servos weren't as easy on the battery life the batteries would go flat very quickly with the with the servos because they were under an awful lot of strain whereas these N20 gear motors because they're on a or because we have a screw mechanism shouldn't really be under all that much pressure when we when we're not using them they're only going to be under pressure when we need to change the the angle of the bucket whereas the servo in the Hitachi was always trying to lift the boom so you were always burning a lot of power it was a very very inefficient model so this model seems to be a little bit better or I mean this uh, screw mechanism seems to be a little bit better I think that the 7.4 volt battery is probably the way to go you can always change the speed of the motor with the with pulse width modulation like I showed in one of the other videos so I think we should probably go with the 150 gear ratio and just use the software to slow it down if we need to. But realistically I think it's going to be pretty perfect for this job. Okay so I'll just give you an example of the 150 gearbox motor being driven by the 7.4 volt battery just so you can get an idea of the speed. So here we go. So that seems a pretty a pretty perfect speed for this for well for an excavator model. It's, uh, it's very fast and we can always change the speed later with pulse width modulation in the software. So I think uh, I think a 150 gearbox ratio in an N20 motor is the ideal uh, ratio for an excavator and a 7.4 volt battery is probably the best battery for your excavator model you're going to give yourself the most amount of power and the most realistic speed so if you liked that video don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any comments or suggestions either post them below or post them in the forum and I'll be happy to answer them and obviously I'll be ordering more of these uh, 150 N20 gear motors for uh, the Lieber model here and the other model the PC400 
which uh, you seen last week. So I'll obviously have follow up videos on those builds. So if you're interested in those kind of things, make sure and subscribe so you don't miss out. And that's everything I have for this week. So as usual, thanks very much for watching.